Everything that rocks in the River City, 103 GBF, that is nothing more. And Jenny wrapping up a six-pack. And as promised, a very special guest on the show today, Newburgh native and uh, L.A. resident Michael Rosenbaum. How you doing, man? I'm pretty good. Were you just playing Jenny Jenny? No, no. It's a new what song. What Jenny were you playing? It's a, a band called Nothing More. Oh, nice, because I'm in Los Angeles, so I couldn't hear you exactly. So I just got, I, I was checking in. I was checking in. So uh, how are things going? Uh, you got some new stuff happening that we're going to talk about. Yeah, I'm excited. New show in, in Pastor, which uh, all my Indiana crew has been uh, Facebooking and tweeting and all, all those things that the kids are doing these days. And uh, it's been pretty amazing. It's been really fun. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to be talking to you again. I haven't talked to you in a while, Mr. Sandman. I know it. Last time you were in was when... Uh... Back in the day, it was in, uh, I guess, uh, just about ready to be released. That's right. Yeah, we were uh, promoting back in the day and screening it all over Evansville, and uh, mm-hmm. that was a treat. So hey, I'm going to be back. I have my 25th high school reunion castle coming up in October. Can you believe it? No kidding. 25 years, man. Where did it go? I was a little insecure punk. A <laughs> castle didn't even start puberty till late, and now look at me. Still yeah. haven't started puberty 25 years later. <laughs> but you don't look that age anyway, that's for sure. Well, it's all the growth hormones, man. You of know, course. You know, you got to keep it young. got to keep it real. You know, you got to be. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're doing? It's L.A., right? I mean, you know. You got to keep up when you live out oh, there. Oh man, it's tough out here. I, I got to move back. I always say I want to get married and have kids. You can't get married in Los Angeles. You got to go to Evansville to get married. Everybody's married in Evansville. Yeah, that's about right. You know. Yep. <laughs> Michael Rosenbaum is on the phone. Impastor, his new TV series. It airs on TV Land tomorrow night, right? Yeah, every Wednesday night at uh, ten thirty. So whatever time it is there, and if you miss it, the first three episodes, you can go to Hulu. For free and watch the first couple episodes, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you know it's definitely TV land. I'll tell you, is taking a chance. They usually were showing a lot of reruns of you know. You remember AMC? They used to show old movies, and then all of a sudden they they wanted to rebrand their network, so they started uh, putting on shows like The Walking Dead and mm-hmm. Mad Men, and, and I think TV land. That's what they want to do. So they like, we want to edge this up. We want to have some really clever content. So. I play a fish out of water. He's a ne'er-do-well guy who uh, is about to jump off a bridge and end his life and uh, ultimately takes over this guy's life, steals his identity, and uh, finds that he's uh, playing a gay pastor. He's pretending to be a gay <laughs> pastor in this little town. And uh, it's edgy and it's fun and it's, uh, it's serialized, which means like every episode doesn't wrap up in a nice little bow. It, it just keeps moving. The story keeps going in different directions and, you know... Uh, it's a lot of fun. They're definitely, I mean, I couldn't believe, I, you, you don't swear on your uh, station, right? You can't bleep stuff. Uh, depends what you're going to say. If it's the, if it's the <laughs> anyway, F- I say a couple of words, which okay. they, uh, they allowed us to say, which is a little shocking for TV land. But uh, again, it's a, uh, it's a darker show. It's, but it's a comedy and, uh, the reviews and everything has been great. So, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, if they say it on TV land, you can say it on the radio. I'm sure. Oh no, no, believe it or not. They can't. It, it's it's the C word. And oh, ends with K. Gotcha. Yeah, I say that, and I think I say S and ends a T, and they bleep out some F bombs on Rosenbaum, which is me. <laughs> but ultimately, uh, you know, but it, you know what I like is it, it doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel like hey, we're trying to we're trying to swear, we're trying to be naughty. It's 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 sort of just uh, this character who's like this pot smoking. Uh, atheist, and then he meets this little town, and perhaps he starts to believe a little bit when all these things start to happen around him. So, um, it's uh, you know, what's great is like I, there's a pastor in Evansville and a couple other guys who are religious, and they well, I have some religious Christian friends, and, and they're all like, "We loved it." That's it awesome. Bash Christianity or anything or any religion. It's it's fun. It's uh, you know this. So, uh, but it's it's nice to get a little. Uh, uh, mi- you know, mixed reviews in terms of uh, people's reaction, but it's definitely if it, we push the envelope a little. It's funny that edgy and TV land would ever be mentioned in the same sentence. You know, <laughs> you know, you're right, man. I mean, that's. But I, again, I always refer to AMC. It's like whoever thought AMC was going to show really clever content and original stuff. They, they were yeah. showing old, you know, AMC movies like Next Up, Cool Hand Luke on AMC. Yeah, exactly. And now there's zombies killing each, you know, killing zombies and. Uh, Mad Men is getting nominated for Emmy. So uh, TV Land, I mean, hopefully in five years people will say, yeah, well, look what TV Land did. 
So uh, you're you know, right. And they got the Jim Gaffigan show, and we're right after the Jim Gaffigan show at ten thirty. So uh, see, yeah. I think the thing is, you're in what's called safe harbor time, where you can get a little more loose with language than prime time. Yeah, and you know we're, we're we're on a little later, so it's like you know we we had to go through we had to fight for a lot of the language, but we were like the, the language sort of is the character in a lot of ways. He's right. just manipulating con man, and you know he says things, and he and he, he you know he you know has a prostitute on the side. <laughs> it's definitely spicy, but then the the juxtaposition of of, of like this little family life in this uh, this church town, it's just a nice balance of like good and you know, a little bit of evil. So uh, uh, it's fun. But, yes, it's it's definitely, uh, I think people were kind of a little shocked when they saw it. They're like, holy crap, they're letting you do that? They're letting you say that? I'm like, yeah, this is fun. Michael Rosenbaum, M. Pastor is the show. It's on TV land tomorrow night. Check your local listings for time. And you're going to be doing some stuff on your Twitter account. I think you wanted to uh, perhaps um, you're going to tweet out something secret where somebody could win? That's right, Sandman. Uh, anybody who's listening out there, if you're on Twitter, first one who tweets this key word that I'm going to say will get us autographed poster uh, of Impastor that I will send from my house. That's awesome. So the key word, are you ready to have magic music for this? Uh, I can make some. Let's do it. Ring. The key word with Sandman doing the sound effects for, for the key word effect is Beecher. Ring. That's it. The word is Beecher. That's it. <laughs> First tweet of that, and you will get yourself a free autograph in Pastor Poster. That's awesome. And I got to say, I'm going to get you one anyway to put in your office so you can oh. throw darts at it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't throw darts at it. Come on. All right, Sam. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm very excited for uh, for you with this new opportunity. I know a, a few shows have aired, but again, it's Wednesday nights on TV Land in Pastor with uh, Newberg's own. And Castle High School's own Michael Rosenbaum, 25 years coming up. 25 year, uh, 25 year anniversary. <laughs> 25 year reunion. Yeah, man, I'm getting up there. Yeah, uh, thanks so much, Sam, man. Yeah, and pastors, every Wednesday night, let me know what you think. I respond to my fans, and I'm always communicating with old folks back on Facebook and all that jazz. So it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to check it out, Michael, and thanks for uh, taking time to call today. Dude, thanks for having me on. You're always the sweetest for uh, getting me on there, so I appreciate it. Awesome. Keep rocking, man. My pleasure. See ya.